We go to Sarah, who's on the line in Cleveland, Ohio. Sarah, you're on the Ken Coleman Show. Hi, Ken. Thanks for taking my call. Sure. How can um, I help today? I'm a, pre- I'm a pretty new listener. Um, and I, just to give you a little background, I started with a company uh, about four years ago. I was working through college and networked with the right people and got into a job that I really loved for two years. It wasn't my dream job, but I definitely enjoyed going to work every day. Um, I finished college while working there. I got promoted um, and now I, I did my homework, shadowed, did the job. Thought it would be something I really liked, but the culture is tearing me down. Yeah. <laughs> um, it's very toxic. It's it's hard to get up and go to work every day. And so I'm still pursuing a degree, a master's degree in mental health counseling, which is absolutely the opposite of what I do now. Mm-hmm. Um, and my company is actually helping me pay for it, but I don't know if I should kind of go back to my old role, which I really enjoyed, finish out college there or stay in what I'm doing. Um, is, is I the, work with a bunch of surgeons right now, so I can network, maybe go into talk to like maybe a psychologist, which is what I ultimately want to do. Yeah, I, I, uh, I'm, I'm a little confused. So everything you just told me, is this all under the same roof, the one that you were in for two years that you loved, then you got promoted, and uh, now you're in a miserable culture and it's sucking the life out of you? This is this all in the same building or these different places? Um, it's with the same company, um, but I'm a vendor in the OR, so I work at different hospitals. Um, but, but the culture is with the company. Right. So the negativity why, is coming from the company. Right. So why in the world would you go back to your old role and stay in the same negativity? Because then you're going to call me back again and go, I'm miserable here too. <laughs> right? Well, it was a different division. Okay. So let me ask you this. Is the culture better? Is it a good culture in this other division if you were to go back to that place? Absolutely. Okay. Would they continue to pay for your degree? Yes. But it's also a $20,000 pay cut. Ooh, ouch. Yeah. How much do you have left in the uh, master's program? Um, about a year and a half left in the program, and then I'll be um, about a year internship. Okay. Uh, and so if you leave them, you would be on the hook for how much money, paying it on your own? Um, if I left my current position, yep. I already kind of pay a certain amount for school due to tax purposes. Um, if I were to move back to my old position, I would be in a different tax bracket, so I could still technically pay for school on yeah. my own, but I would be able to utilize more of the tuition assistance because I wouldn't be in that tax bracket. Because after a certain amount, yeah, the but company here, you, you didn't answer my question. If your company is not paying for it, because you just, I don't want you going backwards. You're taking a $20,000 pay cut. I don't think that makes any sense, does it? Am I missing something? No, it doesn't. <laughs> okay, all right. So listen, let's but stay. F- I just want to be happier. No, I know, and I want you to be happier. But what I'm trying to do is help you see how you can be happier. How much would you, if you leave tomorrow, let's just say you left tomorrow, this current company, how much would you have to pay to get through this uh, master's degree in counseling that is taking you to where you ultimately want to be? How much would you have to pay? Uh, it's $3,700 every 10 weeks. I, you broke up. How much? At $3,700 every 10 weeks. Okay, so with a good paying job, making the same amount of money you're making now at minimum, would you be able to cash flow your way through that? I could. I Then I say move on and do not go back and take a $20,000 pay cut in the same company, even though you'd be happier from a culture standpoint. You don't need to do that. I want you to uh, be a big gal, okay, and... <laughs> You know, bite that upper lip, deal with the negative culture until we find something else. And ideally, yeah, I because of all these surgeons and all these people you know in the hospital, you are Mrs. Proximity. And I'd like for you to get the word out, hey, I'm looking for something different. I can do this, this, and this. I'm looking for this, this, and this because I'm almost done with my counseling. Eventually, I want to go in here. And I would try to get in the same field, to get in that mental health, that counseling field, even if it's just sort of indirect, not even direct. But I just think for right now, we got to keep your head and heart in the game. And I've said this a million times. You can love your work, folks. You can be great at your work. So you're in your sweet spot occupationally. But if you're in an awful, unhealthy culture, it can suck the life out of you, and you can hate going into a job that you love. Am I right, Sarah? Oh, yeah. 
It's, a, it's awful. How do you feel every day? Tell folks. I want people to hear. You know, I say that a lot, and you just said amen, basically. But I want you to express the emotions you experience, even though you love the work. Describe the emotions of being in an awful culture. I Honestly, it's more stressful. So in a nutshell, I do hip and knee robot. Like, I assist with hip and knee robotic surgery. Mm-hmm. And that could be very stressful sometimes, yeah. but the culture makes it not worth getting up right right yeah you you park the car in the parking lot every morning and you think of ways to get out of it that's just because that's, of the negativity yeah that's so debilitating so um hang in there just a little longer sarah do you understand what i'm saying hang in there sure. but let's get you out of there we need a job just let's even in the medical field let's just stay there because you've got all the contacts. Let's get you in a healthy environment, making the same amount of money or more. And by the way, you can do this, Sarah, because what's going to get you out of the car Monday is I'm on my way out. And so right now, this is cash flowing my future. You see how that's a different right. mentality? Right. You know? And, and when those people are difficult and negative, you just go, Woo, I'm out of here soon. You can just keep on being sour. I'm not going to let you bother me because I'm on my way out. I'm moving upward. You know what I'm saying? It sounds a little right. motivational, but that's what you have to do. And you can stay as long as you need to stay when you realize that you've got a plan and you're making steps to get out of there. So I hope I'm clear. I want you to get out of this gig as soon as you've got another gig lined up and say sayonara, cash flow your way through the rest of that master's. And uh, you're going to be helping people really soon. And I'm so proud of you, Sarah. Um, because, oh, thank you. listen, you're going to be sitting across from people very soon. And uh, they're in a serious situation in life. And because of you contributing to them, they're going to get healthy and make a huge difference. Go, Sarah, go. 